An interfaith leader is an individual with the vision, knowledge, and skills to organize people who orient around religion differently so that they can work together for the common good. But how does someone become an interfaith leader? What inspires that initial vision? People are drawn to interfaith leadership for a number of reasons. Some are attracted to the idea of different communities joining together to increase their impact. Someone else might have his or her own religious experience enriched by someone of a different religious tradition. Alternatively, a person may have experienced prejudice or religious conflict that leads him or her to seek out new ways to bring people together. And more and more commonly, people find themselves in personal relationships with friends, partners, or family members who have a different religious background or orientation. These relationships can lead someone to seek out commonalities and shared values rather than differences. Everyone's story is different and might reflect more than one of these reasons. Developing a vision of interfaith cooperation and seeing for yourself how interfaith leadership can create positive change is the first step to becoming an effective interfaith leader yourself. This vision emerges through our many interfaith encounters and is, in turn, shared through public narrative. Telling your personal story is an essential skill of interfaith work because it is through storytelling that we are able to clearly articulate why we care about interfaith cooperation and welcome others to participate in that vision with us. Storytelling is such an important part of interfaith leadership. Over the years, I've had the pleasure of hearing stories of interfaith encounters and inspirations from emerging leaders all over the country. As you listen to the people featured in the next video, begin to think about your own interfaith stories and how you can use storytelling to inform and motivate others.